What is going on today, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well. So uh, at the end of the last video, I asked you guys if you wanted a shop video update on sled and everybody said yes. <laughs> so um, here's your update. This is the, uh, the skid that I ripped out. As you can see, both rails are quite bent. The purple rail, before we bent it straight again on the mountain, used to go like from here around in here. So it was really bad, but uh, that's how much we got it straightened out. But also I've noticed since I ripped it out, this piece is really bent too. So not just the rails were bent, I guess, but uh, overall it's pretty twisted. So not very good, but uh, I managed to pick up this skid the day after uh, riding, which would be yesterday morning. I picked this up. And uh, it's basically brand new actually. It looks like it's very low kilometers. Still got the stickers on the front of the skid there. So I uh, just got to swap the shocks over from that skid onto this one. So uh, we'll be good to go there. On the sled we've got... Uh, this is a lot of the reason I think why the track wasn't tracking straight. This here, this one rear mount is really twisted. It's supposed to be just straight up and down, kind of like that one. Um, and unfortunately, this is not a replaceable part, I have found out. Uh, apparently, it's part of the chassis, and it's riveted on with these fancy rivets. So I'm not really sure how we're going to go about straightening that, if we're going to have to take it off and then maybe weld it back on or what. But uh, we've got Cousin Kent who did the uh, TIG welding for the um, shorter tunnel here. He's coming out probably this coming weekend. Today is Monday. Um, so yeah, he'll be coming out to help out straighten that out. He's pretty good with that stuff. So we'll get her fixed up. But uh, today I'm going to be running into town. I found a set of uh, used running boards on Marketplace as well. So we'll be ripping this off to bring it with me. Um, just to be sure that the new ones are actually going to work because the new ones are off of a 174 inch axis So we'll uh, do some comparing just just to be really sure and I also found what the issue was with the bog and the engine light on the way down the mountain um, It was not the track Rubbing and dragging the motor down. I don't know if we'll be able to see it very well There we go So you can see right Where's my finger? Oh, there it is. Right there. There's a crack in the Y pipe. The camera would focus on it. But uh, yeah, so regardless, we're going to need a new Y pipe as well. So uh, yeah, I guess I think that's more or less it. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've got our work cut out for us. But I guess I'll start off with getting the running board off. Just for fun, I grabbed that hammer and gave this mount a couple whacks and actually got it a little better anyway <laughs> obviously we're gonna need to do a little bit more uh, a little bit more fine-tuning with it but uh, it's it's definitely a step in the right direction you can see the aluminum ripped on both sides here and here so we'll have to maybe take that back up but uh, yeah, I guess we're off to town to grab a new running board and also some fill rod for the welder. All right, just heading home now. Um, turns out running boards off of a 174 inch tunnel are really different from uh, 155. So unfortunately that was a bust, didn't end up getting the running boards. But we did get some fill rod for the welder. So uh, yeah, we should be able to fix up the tunnel. Um, I guess I'll just have to keep an eye out for uh, some running boards or call around to some dealers tomorrow when they open um, see if anyone has a running board in stock so we'll uh, keep on looking all right so we've got everything swapped from that skid over onto this skid so that's ready to go back in um, over here we've got uh, this is just gonna be my temporary fix till I can find a running board used but uh, we're gonna oh, the clamps are in the way Basically, we're going to weld this onto the end of the running board. This is actually a leftover piece from when I replaced the front bumper one time. It's actually this piece right here. <laughs> I uh, bent it up and modified it to uh, to work. So, um, yeah, that's good to go. 
Uh, let's see here, what else? I took the Y pipe out. You can see no exhaust. Whereabouts is it? Right here. There you go. You can see a little bit of light coming through there. So that means that air is coming through. So, uh, yeah, we'll get that welded up and put back on with a new gasket. I've got to clean it up still. But, um, yeah, so we're plugging along. Cousin Kent should be here shortly to uh, fire up the TIG welder and start uh, start welding up all the cracks and stuff. Weld this, this support plate back on and uh, weld up a few cracks here and there's one right here. Um, and then I'm thinking we're probably going to end up cutting this off um and then straightening it and welding it back on and yeah once we're done all that then we should be good to throw it all back together again all right so after many hours of work we've uh finally got it all back together again so it's not perfect by any means but it will do for now you can see we've got a little bit of gap on that side and quite a bit of gap on that side but uh, we ended up not actually taking this side off, um, thinking that it'll probably be stronger if we leave it attached and just try and bend it straight. So that's about as straight as we could get it. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, like I say, not perfect, but it'll do for now. This summer I might end up actually getting a custom mount built um, to replace it, but we'll figure that all out when the time comes. But uh, yeah, I've got the new the new used skid in there. Seems to be working good. Um, what else? We got the running board all welded together. That'll that'll work for now. Got a little bit of stuff to clean up still, but um, yeah. So if any of you guys know of anyone that has a running board that would fit a 155 inch axis. I believe the 163s are the same. I'm not 100% sure on that. I know for a fact the 174s are different. But uh, if anybody knows of anyone that's got one that they want to part with, uh, left side running board, let me know. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll be replacing that soon, hopefully. Uh, the, the rails will be getting powder coated as well eventually. Um, the powder coater was busy until the new year, so probably sometime in the new year we'll rip it back apart and get it all coated up. But uh, hopefully we'll have a rail by then too and we can send that in the same batch. But uh, anyway, so the bog ended up not being the Y pipe. I'm sure the Y pipe having a crack in it wasn't helping. But um, on these sleds you've got two relays right there. Uh, one runs your um, dash on your hood and the other one runs your exhaust valves um, the actuator open and closed which is this guy right here those are your exhaust valves um, so after doing some uh, googling I found out that you can actually look up the engine codes on the dash of these sleds um, so I did that and it turned it pointed me in the direction of the exhaust valve actuator uh, being the issue so after calling three different dealerships and not really getting very far um, the third one I called which was M&M performance Asked me for the code itself And so after I told them what it was they said it could be a couple different things and um, they said the only thing I can really try on my own is uh, swapping out those two relays like just unplug them switch them around and plug them back in and uh, sure enough, I did that and my dash quit working. So that leads me to believe that one of the relays is toast. And after, um, after them have, having them plugged in like that, I went for another rip here at home. And the sled's running a lot better now. So sure enough, um, for some reason, one of the relays kicked the bucket right after I hit the tree. Or, yeah. So <laughs> not sure how that works, if it was coincidence or what. But... Uh, Anyway, we'll get a new relay and we'll get our dash working again and we should be good to go. So we're, we're back up and running, happy that we're up and running because if it was a full, uh, at first I thought it was a, an exhaust valve actuator that the problem was and those are very expensive and like a month away. So I'm happy that we're back up and ripping for the time being and uh, yeah, over the next month or so hopefully we'll get a new running board on it and get the skid powder coated and everything back to uh, back to 100% again. But uh, 
yeah, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, we'll be back ripping again soon. Hopefully there'll be another riding video coming out very soon. We've, uh, we're getting lots of snow now. Uh, I think it snowed like eight inches here last night. So um, yeah, should be lots of good snow. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Subscribe.